Hello Robloxians, welcome to another tutorial done by Cess Cafe. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an upgrader button. And so whenever it is completed, it should resemble this in some way, shape or form. Maybe not exactly, depending on your personal preferences. But so right now we cannot buy this upgrader. And then you go under here, we have 20 cash, it subtracts 10. And now every single brick that falls is going to be worth 25 cash. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So, the first thing that you're going to need to do, or this is where we left off last time, and so the first thing that we're going to need to do, instead of inserting a part and making it look like that, instead what I like to do is I like to just come down here to the factory, um, come down and actually just get that part directly, copy it, paste it, and come down here, delete that script, and so now we have two parts that look literally exactly the same because they are exactly the same. And so now what we're going to need to do is insert a model into the game for this part to go into. And you can actually keep the exact same name as head because we're going to need to insert a humanoid into the game and then destroy the max health to make it so it does not have a health bar. And we're going to title this by upgrader and then one and then you can do a dash and do whatever price you would like for this tutorial i'm just going to do 25 although this number does not actually affect the price in any way shape or form it just you know lets the people know what the script says that it's going to cost or like what it will subtract but that it's in itself does not do anything you could have it say a million when really it only takes away a dollar so just thought that i should tell you all that and so now what we're going to need to do is insert a part and we're going to name this or actually we'll get back to that part in just a moment so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this upgrader oh I'll fix that in just a moment. All right, so once again, I have all of this on the Google Drive. I have, or all on a um, Word document on Google Drive. So we're gonna go down here to the upgrader, go to the head, select it. Oh my goodness, this is going crazy. All right, and so we're gonna insert a script and delete that wording. And we're going to paste this in. This is what affects how much it cost. So. You should always make the you know upgrade cost be the same as the title for the brick. That way it does not throw people off. So this could equal one or like you could do equal one dollar and this a million and it would equal one dollar in case you know it wasn't clear before. And this right here is what is going to like what it's connected to. So like what it will buy. So make sure that it's the exact same name as um, the part that is going to be the upgrader. So we're just going to copy and paste that name directly. And in the future, you know, whenever you do upgrader two, you would then have to create a new part and name it upgrader two. Um, hopefully that makes sense to y'all. All right. So then underneath the upgrader one, we're then going to need to do another script. And so, um, I'm sorry. So underneath upgrader one, so you're going to need to insert this script right here, which I will have clearly stated in the Word document. And so what this is doing is it basically turns the brick titled Tycoon Brick, if you remember back to here on this right here, the part name is Tycoon Brick. So it changes Tycoon Brick into upgrade, upgraded Tycoon Brick. And so now that in itself really isn't gonna be worth much money. In fact, actually it's not even going to register with the get um, button um, that we created right here. Because if you notice, it will only remove the brick if it's titled Tycoon Brick. So what we then have to do is we will then have to paste this into there. So else if, if upgraded Tycoon Brick, which is what we just created, remove it and have the value be 25, which 
you know, since we're making it cost 25, we'll do like where it gives you 10. All right. So now this is also a very important part that I always forget without fail is putting the items that I created into the model. For, I don't know why that's so hard for me to, um, you know, think of. Oh, I almost forgot one of the most important parts. Right here with the upgrader, you then... Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this out of here, even though I just put it in. That way it's easier for me to work with. But the upgrader button is going to have to go underneath this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to... This is just personal preference. I just want to keep everything being the consistent same size. And so that's what it is. And then we can go into here and find... I guess this position will do. All right, and then we just copy the position from that top piece right there. And we're going to paste it into that right there. And then we will just come down to here and drag it lower. And also, I almost forgot, make sure that on the upgrader um, brick that you turn on the anchored or else it will fall through and it will not work. And also uncheck the can collide. Otherwise, the bricks will just stack up and the bricks will not go through this brick. So... That is very important that you do it. And now we will drag it right there. And let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. All right. So you touch the door. Do the buy it. And it doesn't work. That's good sign. We just have to wait. And then if you have 15. And now that we have 25, if we touch the button... Now every single one is worth 10. So it did in fact work. And so, you know, obviously if you wanted to do more upgraders, you could actually do it a lot faster because all that you'd have to do is copy that, paste it, drag it down, change the name of it to upgrader two, and then just get the um, buy button and put that in there and then title it by upgrader two, change the amount, let's do to 50, and then come down here into script and change that to a two, change that to 50. And I know that I'm doing it super fast, but that's just because I do not want to take up y'all's valuable time. So now I'm just gonna drag that right there, which is super sloppily done, but I will fix it before the start of the next video. But, so now, if you do this, you touch it. Oh, I forgot to, um, I forgot to put this into here. Like I said, I always seem to forget that without fail. And it's still there. Well, that's peculiar. So now we have to find out why it's doing that. Did I? That is very strange. Uh, it should not be doing that. Let's see, so it is the upgrader. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot to change this. So now, this is actually super important. In fact, I'm glad that I did this. So now, underneath this, you can erase the tycoon brick, and I copied the upgraded tycoon brick, moved it right there, and then you can title this to whatever you would like. So let's just do upgraded tycoon brick one. And so now we will need to come into here, into the cash to collect, do the get cash right there. And we can just copy this right here and then press enter and paste and then tycoon brick one. 
And so let's have the value of these equal 25. So now it's doing, you know, it's where once it touches that, it should disappear, which that's still showing up, but that may not matter. I really don't know why that would still be there. But, so it's equaling 5. And then we do it. We buy this one. Oh, see, but it's jumping straight to 25. So something is making that stay there. And I can't actually, like, I don't know why that would be. Maybe I... Seems like, though, that where the air would be, would be in this... Oh, that's why. Upgrade or two. See, something so small as that can affect many things, which hopefully this works. All right, good. Because I was going to say, or else I will sound like an idiot. But, so we start it, which, I mean, y'all should already know what's going to happen. And hopefully it does happen. But, so we do this, and you can use this exact same formula for as many upgraders as you would like. All that you have to do is change the name of the button, change the name of this brick right there, and see, so now every single one is worth 25. So again, to upgrade something, make sure that you come into the cash to collect, this script right here, copy and paste that, do whatever you, the new brick is going to be titled, come into the new brick and, you know, do it to where whenever this goes in, this comes out. And it's like a little machine. And then, yeah, also make sure to change the price and all of that. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. And if you did, make sure to leave a like that way I know to continue making videos and don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to see my new videos and make sure to comment down below of what future videos you would like to see me do and I will see you guys next time.